request permission to read a prepared statement as a point of personal privilege. Read your, read your statement. Mr. Speaker and members of the assembly, I'm honored to serve with many of the brightest minds in our state. As my colleagues, I respect each of you for your experience and expertise. As representatives of the people of North Dakota, we have an obligation to treat every respect, aspect of this seat with the utmost respect. We must respect one another in our deliberations in committee and beyond these chamber walls. Do we falter? Yes. And I have had a lapse of judgment. For that, I apologize. Moreover, I'm sorry for any and all remarks that I have made that have misrepresented the character or views of my colleagues. This has been, nor will it ever be, my intention. As we move forward in this session, I remain resolved to treat each of my colleagues and the people we serve with the highest regard. More importantly, I hope I'm not alone. We have many tough decisions to make in this body, meaningful tax relief for our neighbors, investments in our future, and a responsible policy that continues to make North Dakota the envy of the nation. If we're gonna be successful in the 63rd legislative session, we're going to have to be courteous and respectful of both issues and one another. Mr. Speaker, Speaker, thank you for this opportunity to address my colleagues. I look forward to personally adhering to the highest standard of conduct we can all be proud of. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Carlson. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, uh, I understand that was hard to do. And there's not any one of us in this chamber that at some point in time hasn't said or written something we wish we hadn't done. But this is a really special place to be. 94 of us get to make laws for the other 700,000. And every day we need to have that as our utmost goal. And we can't let personalities get in the way of policy. So the comments are well taken and accepted. But we need to make sure that we do our job, we pay attention to the issues at hand, and make sure we always remember the best interest of our citizens when we vote. And if we keep that in mind, we will never have to have these discussions again.